And welcome back to Gator Snapper playthrough of Lost Planet 3, where Gator Snapper has been drinking nice amounts of water and is perfectly, is just treating his voice right. It's going to go into like kind of softer tone of voice. It's because recently I got like a bad case of allergies and it made my, like, it made me hello? feel hello? like hello? shit. Oh, hello? hello? Oh, God, that is annoying. Hello? 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 That's just like, you out here? You out here? Oh, you out here? it doesn't sound like a proper echo at all. It just sounds like a badly oh, done effect. Okay, hello. But yeah, recently I got pretty sick because of uh, just like general allergy stuff and ooh, hello. Oh, that's nice. And um, yeah, uh, basically I just had a, oh, fuck, a really sore throat for a while. And it was especially bad because the first day it happened, it wasn't, it wasn't immediately bad. And the first day um, that I had it, I was like, uh, we were, I was doing my first D&D &D session. Uh, like of DMing that it, uh, that is to be precise and like oh oh god I'm finding all the new buttons except for how to s switch to my god yeah, okay there's grenades how do I switch my pistol again god damn it but yeah sorry I keep losing track of this story I DM'd for the first time and it did a number on my voice I had a sore th like I had just the horses of voices for like five days I had like smoker's voice Next week, when the next session came around, I was like, okay, I've gotten over this, I'm all better, let's fucking try it again. Like, two hours in, my voice got immediately hoarse again. I was like, I, I can't, wait, I gotta stop here, guys, I'm like fucking myself up here. So yeah, after that scare, uh, I've been treating myself nicely, or at least better than before. I'm drinking water after fucking recording sessions like this, all Jenny sorts Connery. of nice things. I had that God, I love how your hair just deep in butter. The builds the right into your beard. It's so, it just looks so natural on you. Her. If I did that, I'd look like a fixed. fucking freak. I don't know, it just seems like his sideburns limbs. are like the uh, same length as his hair. It's like he's actually rookie. growing a mane. It's kind of impressive. It's own also own creepy as fuck, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. What's going on, crab monsters? Guess we're even. God, in Lost Planet 2, I'd already fought like seven different varieties of the acre. So far in this, well, I guess now I've seen two, but yeah, you know, I was going to complain, and then I lost all rights to do that. All right. You know, I do like how they gave the Acrid, like, better move, like, oh, 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 let me fucking figure this out, yeah. Whee! I like how they, they've, like, amped up the Acrids and whatnot. That's nice. It's just, I don't know. Wow! Ah, shit! I got jumped! I'm just wondering at, like, what cost to give, like, I mean, I guess at this cost. Something about this just doesn't feel as, as like, good as it did in Lost Planet 2, which, I don't know, I guess in that, the first place, fucking normal combat didn't feel all that great anyways. I'm still of a mind to say Lost Planet 2 really only had like big monster fight stuff going for it and a couple of times where the normal fighting was fun. Depot near I don't know but uh, like I said my main yeah, goal in playing this game is to see how it ends just because that's what all the series uh, I play on this channel are about and to uh, like kind of see how it compares to Lost Planet 2 or at least how I can compare it to Lost Planet 2. Mm -hmm. T energy. I should pay attention to the story. I'm having a hard time focusing between what I'm trying to say and what they're fucking talking about. Uh-huh. Cool. Good to know. Th things. Okay, cool. Yay, we've done it. Are, am I saving you? Are you coming with me, sir? Sir LaRoche, are we are we out of here? Baron. Uh huh. Now we are even. Oh yeah. I spare true. myself riding home in your bitch okay, seat. Okay, wow. That's, for it that's pretty fucked up Where to say. say. Fucked up and sexist of you to say. I'm I'm gonna remember that. I'm gonna tell the first woman I see, which I think is going to be that black girl with the cool hair accessory, so yeah, but she'll kick your ass, you fucking prissy French boy. Mwah. So what am I what am I doing right now? I guess yeah, follow these objectives, I suppose. Hold on, where is this trying to point me actually? Uh, oh, that way. Okay, cool. I didn't think there was actually a direction over here. I thought it was just like a cliff that led to nowhere. So I was about to be upset, like, uh, the game's trying to, like, I, I thought it'd just be one of those things where I have to walk on each fucking waypoint one at a time to activate the next one. That sounds like something that wouldn't happen, but I've played games where that has been the case, where you can't fucking find the next waypoint until you hit the previous one. I think... Uh, this is kind of a, a warped, uh, not warped example. This is kind of a, mm, uh, not like, it's not an accurate example. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Batman games had a couple of things like that, 
But that was it was a tracking thing anyway, so it's kind of it's more forgivable. I'm th yeah, because like it's like tr tr finding the traces of blood on the ground, whatever. I don't know. I brought it up just for sake of argument. Hello. Well, that guy just fucking disappeared. Fuck, maybe this game is kind of open world. There's like branching paths to go down and whatnot, and also Diaz Cavern had the fucking gall to name one of these places after herself. Fuck, humans have been living on this planet for like hundreds of years prior already, right? That's not, wait, hold on. I'm wondering, can you say prior already, or does prior already imply what already, like, means? I'm gonna have to look that up. Actually, I don't have to look that up. I can ask Jason, because he, he, his whole deal with going to college is, uh, like, language teaching and whatnot. Or, hmm, it makes it sound like he's going to teach, like, hmm, some kind of language to people. But it's more of, like, English proper grammar stuff. He's teaching proper English to people, basically, is the long and short of it. But yeah, that's something I could ask him. He knows a bunch of shit like that. I've actually learned a whole bunch of, like, proper rules with uh, grammar just from, like, the stuff he's learned in college and is, like, brought to our attention. Sometimes the way he brings it to our attention is a little bit, like, grammar Nazi-ish, but it's still interesting for the most part. Some of it. Other parts of it. Oh, boy. Oh, God, they've upgraded the sphincters. Also, I think I could see outside of the map through, like, you know, the sphincter part of it. Oh, God. Yeah, hold on. Can I... Do I have, like, goggles or anything? Actually, you know what I've realized? I don't have a grappling hook. That's a d disappointment. I hope they add... I mean, I hope they add it in later, but I also hope they've upgraded it from what it was in the last game. Because in the last game, like I said, after playing Just Cause 2, the grappling hook left a lot to be desired. I hope they have, would have fixed that in this. Here, take that for me, by the way. Fuck. These things weren't so harmless, they'd be a fucking nuisance. Alrighty, that, fuck, get out of here. Fuck you. Yeah, stop that. I'm trying to fucking hip fire because I don't want to bother aiming right now. Uh, and I'm all out of grenades. Do I have to have a grenade to pop these things? I really hope that's not the case. You know what? I don't think they would have changed the game mechanics that much since the previous game, so let's see. There you go. Yep. Nothing to worry about. It's just quicker. Oh, and I guess uh, maybe the other one was... Oh, shit, I didn't even see it. Maybe the other one was a tunnel, so... I guess it it makes more sense uh, that I it makes sense that I saw what looked like the outside of the map through it. I don't know. I'm giving the game some fucking leeway here. Maybe that's the case. Do I really want to be going through this? Oh boy, this this room sounds fun. Oh god, that was actually kind of scary. It would have jumped me if I hadn't been focusing on fucking talking my way through these things. So for fuck, okay. Well, I learned what those do now the hard way, so I guess now I can avoid them. Thank God that's how they had me fucking figure it out. Not that bullshit of, like, they fucking tell me over the intercom, like, Wait, look out. Those are the things that will blow up around you. You want to be careful around those. Can, can I pull out my guns, by the way? I'd really like to... Yeah, there we go. It's... Oh, is it hold... It's hold Y. No wonder I wasn't making it before. Also, ow, fuck, shit, I wasn't even paying attention to those. Ah, stop it. Okay, yeah, we're shooting all these things. Uh, okay, oh, oh, hey, that's kind of fun. Having them all blow up like that. I like that. Blow up, all of you. All of you blow up if I could actually hit a target. Yeah, that's, that's semi-satisfying. Ow, fuck, okay. All right, all right. I'm watching you, keeping an eye. God damn, things are just popping left and right. You know we're out of here. We're going to keep moving. Get out. Fucking, I don't see half of these things that keep popping on me. Alrighty then. Oh, God. I think flashbacks to when I played Alien Isolation, going through the hive. That was fucking creepy, and I did not like it. Yeah. Okay. I never had experienced anything like this in Lost Planet 2. I guess I like that, how it's doing that in this game. What, am I pissing something off? Uh, I'm pissing that off at the very least. All right, well, let's take care of that. I might as well just only use a pistol. Well, I mean, I would only use a pistol if I could fucking shoot it faster than a snail's pace. God, just give me the fucking... Give me the cheaty things in, like, Call of Duty where I can shoot a pistol way too fast where people think you're using, like, a fucking uh, mod or something. You're cheating in some way. Pistol hacks. Oh, whoa, 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 buddy, buddy, buddies, come on. I'm not that kind of a fucking person. Why can't you be more like the personality of a dog? Some fucking friendly creature that's not gross and bug like. Ow, fuck, fuck. What? God damn. Oh, God, there's more of them. So many of these. You know what? I bet I can just activate all of them by rolling rapidly, so I'm gonna try and do that. Oh, hello. Or that would be the case if I could roll fucking fast. God damn. There's like so many 
There's just so many little things about everything I could be complaining about. I want to I want to get into roles better than this. It's like there's like a, a lag time to it. There's a lag time, but not in the sense of like actual lag. I mean, or maybe I don't know. Not video game sense of lag, but actual lag time where it's like. I want to I want to do this more quickly than I am doing it. Ah, yes, Gator Snapper's convoluted explaining of things. My favorite part about his channel, how he just takes a long time using a bunch of words to say something that otherwise could be quickly explained using I don't know concise words, five or less. I don't fucking know something along those lines. Also, fucking Jeep, get fuck off. So many things that like ah, uh, these things. I want them to just blow up in one shot. God, I could complain about everything right now. Here, get out of here. Am I supposed to be going to that? Let's just go to that. Can I have a grenade I can throw? Here, fucking throw those randomly. What, do, do grenades work off of thermal energy? Because I don't recall picking any up recently. Oh, and I'm all out now. I remember seeing I had like two of them, but I don't know if I had something to do with my like thermal or not. Like I said, I honestly don't remember picking any up, so whatever. All right, we're just gonna fucking walk forward. Explodey things be damned, and yeah, deal with this. I should just be using the shotgun anyways, it's a bigger gun. Ammo doesn't seem like it's really something to worry about. Oh, and it gets rid of those things like no one's business. Also, this. Okay, cool. Wait. Oh, am I actually... I thought I was not completing quest shit. I thought I was just picking up items. Oh, I got an audio log. What was the, what was the purpose of that? Uh, that fucking cutscene made me think something important was happening. Trick of a light, yeah, this is kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. I called Coronas and they confirmed uh -huh. the thermal. Nobody was out oh. with me. What? For what? Anything, what are you talking? I don't know what this is all about. I uh -huh. What I saw. You saw, I I'm guess. Alone here. If you say you saw Acre, I'm gonna be out. pissed off. Now it's probably something like there's other people here. Oh, you know, I never got far enough into the game to really see, but maybe it's gonna be something like the people from Lost Planet, not the people from Lost Planet 2, but like their descendants are still on this planet or something. I don't know, I'm expecting something along those lines. Oh, I have to hold. Whoops, my bad. I fucked up. Alright, give me all the thermal, boy. I'm ready to fucking complete quests and fucking take names. Yeah, because that's what people say. Alright, cool. Do it. Yep. I don't even know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it anyways because I'm a good little boy. I follow directions in video games to a T. To a fault, even, you could say. I don't enjoy playing games for the gameplay. I enjoy playing games because they give me instructions to follow. That's pretty much the mindset I have when I'm playing this game. It does seem to focus more on these hand-holding, storytelling kinds of things. I've said it before. I said it when I was originally playing this game. I enjoy a good story, and I think it's because I enjoyed reading books a whole bunch as a kid. And that kind of carried over with video games. I liked being taken on, uh, like, a story. But there are times in video games where that gets a little over the top, and it, it starts detracting from the game's fun. Which, I don't know. This is always the example I throw out there, but the fact that I liked Asura's Wrath, I, that, to me, that showed that... I don't know if the story was actually good, but I liked the story. I was really into it. It was like it was like watching a movie that occasionally broke out into a game, which is not something a lot of people like, but I was really into where that story was going, so I was invested throughout the whole thing. I didn't get bored of it, so I don't know. It's... it's oh, I hear the whale noises. That's creepy. Also, I should figure out which direction I'm going. I really don't like hearing the whale noises. I find that awfully uh, concerning, but uh, yeah, storytelling in games, it, I don't know. It's got to be a good story that actually catches my interest, which I didn't really get too far into this game, but I was not all that interested in what it had to offer in the first place, so I don't know. I'm hoping that I can change my mind. I fucking love being surprised like that. I go through life expecting to be surprised at some point. Which is kind of bad, because when I go through life expecting to be surprised, I end up not being surprised at all, so... Yeah, I don't know. I have a pessimistic outlook on life that also breaks into optimism at times. And just judging by the whale noises, I'm expecting to see one of those things where, like, you see a fucking majestic giant creature walking by. I hope that's what I get to see. I enjoy seeing stuff like that. That looks cool. I like that stuff in video game storytelling, where, like, you just walk in... You go through the canyon, you fucking hear the noises, and you get into a sight of, like, a giant plane, and there's, like, some massive elephant beast walking around. 
Oh, it's really specific, but uh, it feels like something Final Fantasy has done. Hello. Oh, you're not a new enemy at all. Get out of here. Fuck you. You're just the same old shit I'm always seeing. Alright. Oh, well, Coronas is Coronas already is getting fucked request. over, and I've only gone for a little bit. Okay, wonderful. Nope, not uh, here. Actual. Yeah, this uh, is Peyton, let's figure out what's going on, then I can on? end this episode. Peyton, get back to base yeah, yeah, but why? Is that how you spell? I thought ASAP... Oh, it's a storm, that's why. I thought ASAP was just like four capital letters, not a dash Sab. Uh huh. Oh. Sounds like some bad shit's gonna happen. But you know what? That's going to. You're gonna keep talking? Nope. That's gonna happen next episode. So, yep. This has been a Gator Sniper playthrough. See you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.